January 1st going to be an exciting time of the year for some, but on the contrary, it could be the end of certain LEGO sets. So in today's video, I thought I'd get a top 10 LEGO sets you should probably be investing in slash buying, getting into your collection, because that time is approaching extremely fast, and we're at the certain point in time where some of these sets are going to become very difficult to get because they're going to fly off the shelves and they're not going to be restocked because they are simply out of production. So if that all sounds dandy to you, hit that subscribe button and let's jump straight on into today's video. My name is Christo from Stud City. It's going to be an exciting one. I put together a top 10 list here um, so we can focus on some of the most pivotal points that my subjective opinion is going to be focused on. So thanks so much for guys hitting that subscribe button. Love you guys. Get the credit cards out. Swipe the cards. You know what to do. And uh, let's jump straight on into today's video. All right. Number 10. Number 10 on this list is I put some thought into this one. It's going to be the Ahsoka Tano Brickheads. It's got. OK, there's a couple of things. First off, the Brickheads collection has done uh, pretty well you know historically um uh, especially some of these single packs where it's just you know spend ten dollars and get one uh brickheads and this one in particular looks really good it's ahsoka tano from the obviously hit show ahsoka it's also got the gold brick on the box art for brickheads number 150 i don't know what this thing is always round numbers always you know it's like boxes get likes right well <laughs> Round numbers get attention for whatever really reason, uh, but it also has a golden brick on top of the on the box where the other brickheads are always, I believe, like a silver brick or maybe it's red. I don't remember off the top of my head. But anyways, a great brickheads for ten bucks. Um, I'm not gonna say it was like extremely short shelf life. I think this was on production for well over a year, so it's just a good brickheads and. For the value, I think it's a great one to add. So that's kind of one of my reasons being. Uh, and, of course, it is a Star Wars Brickheads. And we haven't seen just, like, a ton of Star Wars Brickheads, but we've seen quite a few. Um, but this one, I think, is probably one of the better ones. All right, number nine on this list is going to be the Fast and Furious 1970 Dodge Charger RT. Uh, I think this goes without saying, guys. It's Dur Toretto's Dodge Charger. And it does come with that minifig as well. So... Very exclusive to the Fast and Furious line. It's an exclusive car and car history. Uh, if you're a car enthusiast, you probably love the Fast and Furious movies and franchises. It just goes without saying. So for me, this is definitely high up on the list. Um, it's a great set. And the $20 is one of the last price holds, I think, wave for Speed Champions that they stayed at 20 bucks. So you can often pick this up, set up for 20% off retail at like 16 bucks at local stores. But that's not going to last long because this one's going to be flying off the shelves here at the end of this year. Uh, next up is probably a little shocker to you. It's number eight on our list. It's the T-Rex Breakout. It's a $100 Jurassic World set. And I think it's a very nice model. I think it's a great display piece. It's $100. You get a brick-built T-Rex into it, and you get the iconic scene of the fence from Jurassic World and the Jeep. One's flipped over, obviously, and one is on the on the tracks of like the park itself. So very cool display piece. I think this one is top tier um, and a, a set. I'm very sad to see go at the end of this 2023 20, 20, 20, 20, year. Um, it does come with some really cool minifigs, right? From uh, the first movie. I think it was the first movie. Uh, but regardless, it got mud on their faces. Like they're scrabbling through to get through under the Jeep or whatnot and hide from that T-Rex. So sad to see this one go, but definitely a focus set. Um, like this one, which is the Santa's Visit for $100. These are, if you're unfamiliar, the winter collection, the holiday collection series. Um, they come out with one every single year, and they've actually done a very good job of keeping it at that exact price point of $100, not falling to inflation, which is really nice. Uh, and this one, I think, is definitely one of the better ones we've seen in the last few years. The colors, I think they nailed it. Comes with a Christmas tree, comes with, like, accents of just Christmas, even comes with a Santa minifig. So, for me, this was definitely a top-tier holiday set. And it actually has to be retiring this year, unfortunately. So for the price, I think it's well worth it. We've seen it. It's similar to like the Alpine uh, Lodge that came out this year. Um, I think this is just a better set for the $100 personally. Uh, but again, that Alpine Lodge is new. That means they have to get rid of some of the old ones. So we'll sadly see that one go. So anyways, uh, that's number seven. And number six on our list is going to be the Dagobah Jedi Training Diorama. This is a retail set for $90. However, if you are a follower of the channel, you could definitely get this one for a better deal. Um, more on that in my other videos. But 
the Dagobah Jedi training diorama. I, okay, so the reason I put this one on my list is because I personally believe it's one of the best Star Wars dioramas that has been made. I think it's just it overall looks good. I think it makes sense. Um, just a lot better than some of the other options. And of course, it is minifigure scale. Of course, getting Yoda and then R two D two in there. So really cool, very cool set. And I think you also get Luke Skywalker. I believe so. Okay, but anyways, and I love the X wing <laughs> wing hanging out down here. Very cool set. Um, definitely one I don't want to miss out on this year. I picked up a copy as well for myself on that latest Lego sale. Uh, but I think you should probably focus on this one as well, just because of how good the diorama is. All right, number five on this list, I think is a sad one to see go. It's part of the creator expert line. It, re it hit a price hike of $50. It used to retail for $250. I think it's a fantastic set. It screams Halloween. Uh, it's like the mansion of uh, Von Baron, right? That's the whole reference to it. It's the haunted house with, you know, what is it? 3,200 pieces. Just an absurd Lego set. This set is amazing, guys. I built this uh, for Halloween during, I don't know, maybe 2021. It's been a couple years, but it was such an enjoyable set. It really was. And then every Halloween time, every October, I'm just like, wow, I'm so ha I'm so fortunate to have this set in my collection because it is a piece of art. So very cool one. Definitely recommend this set. If you don't have it, it's going to be a sad one to see go. But I really, really want you guys to focus on that one just on how good it is. All right. Number four on the list is going to be Winnie the Pooh from Lego Ideas. I think this should be no surprise to you guys. I've definitely been a huge advocate of the Lego Ideas theme. But Winnie the Pooh at 100 bucks, you get exclusive minifix in this set, right? Obviously, to get in Pooh and some of the other characters from Winnie the Pooh. A great set. It's going to be, again, sad to see this one go. But a set I'm calling to attention for you guys to focus on. I don't want you to miss out on this one. It is just a fantastic Lego set. We have not seen a lot of sales on it. But I think the cheapest we've seen was like $80 to $75, which is when I picked my copy up. But with the shelf life flying off, um, it's probably going to be very difficult to see inventory of this set here after Black Friday. So definitely a high priority set if you are looking to get this one during the Black Friday season because uh, after that, there is no guarantee this will still be available. Okay, on to number three. Number three, I've talked about this set early in the year. I've talked about it all year. It's the Medieval Blacksmith. Again, an amazing Lego set in my eyes. $180 retail. Unfortunately, it used to retail $150. Obviously, seeing the price hike in 2022, the dark days of Lego price hikes. <laughs> but again, this is one of, I always preach this. It's one of the most enjoyable Lego sets I've ever built in my Lego building career. <laughs> See my career there. It's a great set, guys, and I think you should focus on this one just because of, you know, it's a callback to Fantasy Era. The set itself is just enjoyable to build. You don't have to love Fantasy to love this set. I, that That's me. That fits my description. I don't love Fantasy Era, but I absolutely love this set. It was just amazing. So even at the $180, again, a set we haven't really seen go too much on sale during uh, the last couple, you know, few months, but a set we'll be seeing Fly off the shelves and retiring here at the end of the year. All right, number two, I think goes without showing, saying it's the Assembly Square. Uh, again, reached the price hike, but still a $300 Lego set. We will be seeing a sale on this, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, just open to the floor. I think this set flies off the shelves during this Black Friday mods, and we do not see it in sale in store at Lego any longer. Uh, now, other retailers might still have a couple, you know, a few left over hanging, right? But... As far as this set being available at lego.com, shop at home, I don't think it's going to be possible. Of course, you can get lucky in store and find a couple here and there, but it's going to be a set very difficult to find, especially as the, you know, not rumors, but the confirmation that the set is retiring here at the end of the year. If you want to see that confirmation, I will link that video at the end of this one, just because uh, you can find this on the Lego Retiring Soon page on Lego UK. So definitely check that video out. But anyways... $300 for this bad boy, an amazing set, top tier Lego set, one of the best. One of, this is really what got me into Lego was probably this set right here. And uh, I, I I really would love for you not to miss out on it if you're questionable on it. Get it. It's a 10 out of a 10 Lego sets. It's one of the very few 10 out of 10s on the market. So definitely, definitely don't miss out on this one. So that's that one. Uh, number one on our list is going to be the Republic Fighter Tank. I think this set goes without showing. Uh, it's just a relatively short shelf life for uh, the year that it's in production. 
a set that was exclusive to Lego as well as Target here in North America. It really didn't go on sale at all during that time period and overall is just a great Lego set. You get three clone troopers from the 187th clones uh, army and you also get a Mace Windu with two droids. I think it goes without showing this is probably one of the best sets of the year for retirement. That's my opinion. Again, subjective. I personally am going to keep buying these up because I really do enjoy the set and I want more of these clones in my Lego collection. But that's my number one. I also threw in a bonus set here, a bonus two sets. It's going to be the police station. There's three modulars retiring at the end of this year, and it's going to be sad to see them all go. But the police station is one of those other modulars that's going to be retiring. Again, a set we haven't seen go on sale that often because of, you know, just the, the how popular these Lego sets are, right? So really going to be hard to see these sets in stock as uh, the year, year time runs again runs to an end and then obviously the not obviously but the last set i want to take a look at um, a bonus set here is the bookshop again being part of the creator expert line no surprise they're retiring it this year it's the bookshop again another dang near nine out of ten lego set um amazing one would not want you to miss out on this one buy this during these uh, black friday sales guys because again it's going to be very difficult to get this set as uh the production line ended and uh inventory is cleared out so that's my top 10 list with a couple bonus sets let me know if i missed any sets that you are personally looking into but truthfully guys i think this covers my personal agenda quite the best i, I really put some thought into these sets and uh that's gonna do it for today's video i apologize if my voice is a little off or uh coughing a little bit i am sick so i uh, thank you for staying with us in today's video but hey love you guys i don't have a sponsor for today's video we have a pokemon card we have scizor scizor uh, from Pokemon collection. Uh, if you want to see more Pokemon cards from my personal collection, hit that subscribe button. I like to showcase a card in every single video. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. It's a crazy time of the year. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on notification bells because we're going to be posting videos that uh, with Lego sales that are going to go extremely fast. So if you don't want to miss those, make sure to stay true to the channel. Love you guys. My name is Christo from Stud City. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.